next on Deck with Tim Black. Conservatives were really pushing against uh, the, these NFL players to get them to stop talking about politics. But then, you know, you fast forward to today and people are having a little fun with the Trump dance. Now, it, it, the Trump dance is, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's weird, it's new. Oh, Nasty. Oh, Dante. But actually, it hasn't even started yet, but people are very butthurt. And you're going to hear me use the word butthurt a lot tonight. They're very butthurt because, well, they didn't expect this. So I've cooked up a little segment called butthurtedness. Butthurtedness. The butthurtedness of the Democratic Party. Democratic Party butthurtedness. It's a real thing, Johnson. Listen to this CNN clip where uh, we start the segment. Scott Jennings. Well, I said on this network at the Republican National Convention that the Republican Party was now the fun party. And lo and behold, I was right. And apparently many pro athletes agree from the Raiders Brock Bowers to the Lions Adarius Smith to the Titans Calvin Ridley to UFC fighter John Jones to soccer's Christian Pulisic just moments ago. Athletes are doing the Trump dance to celebrate their scores and wins. And why shouldn't they? Trump is back. America is back, and once again, oh, we don't need to. Stand it's up. cool to be a Republican. No, Chuck, we'll Julie, up. we need to stand Chuck, up. Chuck, Julie, so, I invite oh you to get in it on is, it. It is true. We're back, baby. It We're is, back, it baby. It is true that you guys We're have back. sex parties that we cannot oh. compete with. You definitely <laughs> are the much more. I can more hear the jealousy party. in your voice. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't want to go to those Matt Gates sex parties. You're so right. Yeah, listen to her. Listen to her throw salt on it. I wonder how many Republicans were going to the P Diddy parties. Yeah, I wonder how many Democrats were at the Diddy parties. See how they do, they gotta, they, they're just butthurt. Her whole demeanor is butthurtedness. Someone's having fun and it's not me. I must ruin it. The party of telling women not to sleep with their husbands because, you know, Trump. There are too many 304s for that to ever happen. But to even fluff that idea proves my point that the Democrats are not fun at all. The Democrats are butthurts. Now, to be fair, Scott, I don't think Republicans are cool, man. Nah, I'm not saying Republicans are cool. Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, I, 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 I don't think that's the case. I mean, I like your commentary, but you know, you, you're a howdy doody looking motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you obviously know what I mean when I say that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean, bro. But I will say you're winning. <laughs> and winning is cool. So in that way, if you look at it from winning or getting money, you know, that's what makes it cool, man. Who's ever up is coolest. It don't mean you're cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty fun, right? These athletes. Do you feel like athletes? See, this all happened because Donald Trump has a dance, and this dance is sort of sweeping everywhere, and everyone's loving it who's participating. And as you watched it, even if you are of the butthurtedness, Democratic Party, you still gotta, you still gotta feel the vibe, man, because people are enjoying themselves, man. I had to put this weird music on there because I couldn't play YMCA. Because then I'd be butthurt because then they would demonetize my show. But you get the idea. There are people of all kinds of football people dancing. Everyone's enjoying this time, except the Democrats. Now the Democrats are not having a good time. They're sulking right now. They're coming up with new pronouns to call themselves. New ways to be upset. New ways to counsel you. New mistakes you can make with the new vernacular. New ways to be canceled. Maybe take this Japanese guy. I don't know where he is. Chinese bridegroom enters the ceremony with Trump dance. It's international, man. 
This ain't about hey, he doesn't even live in the mud. It's just happy times. Get it? Ah. <laughs> That's the problem with the Democrats, man. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to enjoy yourself. And that's the type of attitude that makes you very uncool. And what you don't understand is it's going to be hard to win elections. It's going to be hard to come back from this ass whooping that you just received if you hold on to resentment. Now, I know it's early, but you're going to have to venture out there and accept the L, accept where you are, and accept that this is just what happened. You would think, <laughs> that's like Democrat blood hurtedness. That's what it is. They're struggling to deal with reality, man. It's it's a difficult time for them. They all need therapy. Maybe you all can get a group therapy discount for all Democrat voters. Maybe they could all go to a website. Maybe Biden could do this on his way out. Every, all Democrats could go to a website, log in with their voter ID or something. That's right, you can't have ID because that's that's racist. <laughs> I don't know how you prove it. Maybe you just put your butt cheeks up on the screen to scan your, see if your butt is red, then you know your butt hurt. You're part of the Democratic butt hurt machine. And then you can go get free therapy at, I don't know, one of these places, one of these online therapy sessions. You know, sort of like the Kamala Zoom meetings. You had... White guys that suck for Kamala, you know, women who are delusional for Kamala. Whatever those, I forget the names of those groups. Wow, they were really making a stand for themselves. I can't remember what their names were now, but it was a lot of groups on Zoom, right? I don't know. But hurt Democrats for Kamala. Anyway, now you can get a group rate. You get a group raid on some type of, you know, being able to, you know, get Prozac or any type of antidepressant medications you might need in order to get through the week. A security blanket, a security dog, some form of massage, masseuse, um, a, a, a clown to walk around to tickle you. Hey, it's not so bad. Huh? It's not so bad. Ah, smile. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> you know? I'm not sure people are losing their minds over players doing the Trump dance on the field, it's fine. But they did lose their minds when NFL players uh, like Colin Kaepernick did not take a political stance, but took a social justice stance. There's a distinction between those two things. Yeah, that's right, Johnson. Abby Phillip, the crusher of dreams. Yeah, she wants to compare people dancing after scoring touchdowns to Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, because those two things are exactly the same thing. I mean, those are political statements. It wasn't like Colin Kaepernick took a knee every time somebody black got beat up by a cop. No, he just did it during the flag, which is why it became like a thing, because it's like the opposite of what they expect you to do. It was like a direct thing towards the flag. But this is not about the flag. This isn't the same thing. This is just to dance, like, and look, if somebody did this dance just to do it after touchdowns, if it wasn't an election, you wouldn't even think about it. You'd be like, ah, it's just a new little dance they do to spike the ball, to celebrate their touchdown. But now, because now you think it's political, because it is, but because you lost, you butthurt about it. All I'm trying to say is that this is not gonna win you any awards, but let her go ahead and dig further and also have this famous football player assist in looking like a Darren. It is interesting that the, there's been this big turnaround, it seems. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, you look at all the times that any player was kneeling or anything, you know, they all had this kind of conviction within themselves that this is what I believe, this is what I'm going to do. They articulated it very well to the media. Um, starting with Colin Kaepernick, and uh, you, you saw the video where a lot of the media, uh, the conservative media and conservatives were really pushing against uh, the, these NFL players to get them to stop 
talking about politics. But then, you know, you fast forward to today and people are having a little fun with the Trump dance. Now, the Trump dance is uh, it's kind of it's, it's weird. It's new. Oh, Nasty. Oh, Dante. You drank the Democrat Kool-Aid. See, that's when you know someone's really just a hack. Dante, you're a hack now, brother. Because the only reason why you said weird is because that's what the Democrats have sanctioned it to be called. You just want to fall in line with the Democratic Party. If this is what I have, this is the problem I have with a lot of their operatives. Like, it's one thing if we have a genuine disagreement about policy. It's even if a difference, it's even different if we have a genuine disagreement about the culture, right? But when it's obvious that you ain't doing that for me carrying water for a, for a party like the Democratic Party, that's when things get bad. You know, because you're not even operating within your own principles or ethics or even thoughts. You are riding a train. And that makes you lame. It makes you lame because you can't even come up with your own reasons for being upset about the dance other than to repeat talking points from the Democratic Party, man. So really, are you upset, Dante? Are you really concerned? Is this really a problem? Is it? How is it a problem? You were right there. You know it's just in fun. Of course, it's mocking. But isn't that what they do in sports all the time? Mock people. And any team can do it when they score. Anybody can do it when they win. It's a victory dance. Yeah, man. For the record, if you're watching this show, if you're new to the show, I'm not a Republican. Nor am I a Democrat. I'm just a person with common sense. You know, I've said this before, guys. Donald Trump was, he had two attempts against his life. And he comes back and he survives him. He comes back and he wins an election. After all those accounts, was it 42, 40, I don't know. They try to throw him in jail. He comes back and he wins. He not only wins the Electoral College, he wins the swing states. He wins the popular vote. He, he dominates in a way that we haven't seen in 40 years or so. It's what you call a mandate. And you don't think people want to celebrate that? I mean, you'd be celebrating if Kamala won, wouldn't you? But I'm just saying, the fact that Trump got, got shot once was about to be shot at by another guy. They were able to throw at that one. You would think there'd be some like, okay, you know? I mean, he's not the president of Russia. He's the president of the same country. This is something Cat Williams was trying to say. He's like, the other side is supposed to be not America. Right? That's how much we got it messed up. We treat people across the street, like they are the enemy. It happened long before Trump won. This has been an ongoing thing, you know what I'm saying? And now the Democrats are talking about the enemy within, and Trump's the scary one. The point is, this is a, this is a lame, this is a lame like thing to be upset about, the victory dance, the Trump dance. Trump been doing that dance before he won. It just caught on and people started doing it. He did not invent the dance to mock you. He invented the, he started doing the dance on the campaign trail because he was having joy. And I thought the Democrats were running on joy. What happened to joy? Looks like joy done left the building, baby. Just like everything else in Kamala Harris's campaign, it was bogus. It was a narrative, it was spun up, it was a bunch of words, it was a concoction, a strategy. It was, it was not real. That's what it was. I'm disappointed in Dante. I really am, man. Does he realize he's overdressed and over-rehearsed? Ooh-ish, and it's 
ridiculous, so which also makes it trendy. Right. And yeah. It's catchy. like a, it's like a TikTok dance. Yeah, it is yeah. right. And and so I, you know, I I don't I don't think that's going to be something that players are going to be doing into next year. It's just kind of something new that players are doing, and they all at you know when when you make a play, you celebrate. You want to do something that's fun and trendy, and and they're doing the Donald Trump dance because that's the fun and trendy thing, right? I now. don't think it's right to equate this Trump dance, which I agree with you, it's kind of a fun, trendy thing that's going on with the overt <clears throat> political statements that some players were attempting to make, but then also these whole sort of cultural movements that were built around some of these players to try to force everyone else to participate in it. I, I see these things as totally different. I don't see these players necessarily participating in politics as much as they are just sort of participating in the current pop culture. I think they're two totally Totally different things. And these players are not out there trying to browbeat their teammates into joining them if they don't want to. Yeah, gotta get over it, Johnson. It's not the same thing. I agree with Scott. It's not the same thing. And yeah, like no one's like there shouldn't be people like at each other's throats about this damn dance. Like you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's some people that don't rap too tight. They're under the delusion that this means the country's Ending. Uh, no, we survived Joe Biden for four years. He obviously was not running the country those four years. It's amazing how the Democrats are not concerned about who was actually running the country. They ran us into the whole inflation-wise and immigration-wise and so many other wise. But no one cares. It's not even a question. It's like not even consideration. And so we're moving forward. We're looking at Trump, and now they're coming up with all these concerns and apprehensions. Literally, you had a president that was incapable, and is still in incapable. And it's kind of—it looks like he's trying to careen us into World War III on his way out the door. That is exactly the clemency uh, grants that I was expecting for him to use his executive orders for. Instead, what he's doing is pushing us towards annihilation with Russia. That's what it feels like. Maybe he wants to really go out with a bang. Or a fizzle. Zzz. Or that sound that bugs make when they hit that electric thing hanging in the backyard when your dad's drinking a beer and going, that was a good one. The zapper, that's what it is, the zapper. But we're at, a, we're at a point right now, guys, where everything, everybody's upset, everybody's butthurt. I can only hope that at some point this, this levels off and people realize you're no more screwed today than you were yesterday. You're no more screwed today than you were a month ago. I know it's counter to what the Democrats need you to feel. You have to understand that they need you to be feeling all types of frustrations. Kamala's still sending out fundraising emails. Me, 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 me. I need to give me money. Give me money. We have to fight Trump. The fight's over, sister. He won. I know it's not Kamala using his, using her name, but I'm just saying, like, it's labeled Kamala. Help Kamala. Help her do what? Take acting classes. I don't know. Start a podcast. What are we hoping to do this time? No, nah, man, I'm, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it. I want to give a reality check to everybody out there, man, that may be caught up in this mess, man. Don't lose your relationships. Don't lose your sanity. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. Nothing's changed. We'll still suck as bad as we sucked before Trump won. Nothing's happened. Do you want to be optimistic that things can get better? Sure. Have at it. Be cool. Be Do it. Got to have dreams. All I'm saying is don't put too much money in that. I've been telling people from day one that I thought that, you know, I thought that uh, Kamala Harris was the greater evil. And I'm sticking to it. She was because of the institutional power she had around her. That's a problem. It's a bigger problem. And she'd be looking at two terms, not just one. I mean, the hell. These people are already delusional thinking that they could run her to begin with. So I don't put anything past the Democratic Party. All I'm saying is, look, the butt-hurted, the butt-hurtedness. We there's nothing I can do to stop it. There may not be nothing you can do to stop it, but don't lean into it. Don't, don't, 
Don't let it get to you. Let them punch themselves out. Okay? Let them punch themselves out, man. They'll get tired. Just like Trumpers did when Biden got elected. Pretty soon, it was on to the next thing. And that's what this is going to do. We're going to move on to the next thing. But the Legion of Doom coming over the hill, these zombies with tears, crying and throwing temper tantrums and pouty faces. Those children, that's what they are, they're children. Those children will learn. Um, the worst is yet to come. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm, I don't want to say that. Um, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Things are just pretty bad. I mean, if they weren't bad for you, congratulations. Congratulations. Great for you. But for a lot of people, things have been bad. You understand what I'm saying? And now they're hopeful. And now you're unhopeful. My thing is, things were bad and you were fine. That's my issue. These people are acting like things were great under Biden, and now here comes Trump. No, mom. No, things were not good. Maybe for Wall Street, but not Main Street. Maybe for, you know, the rich and famous. Not about the rest of us living on them cheap, them cheap shits when you pass go. Baltic, Baltic Avenue, Mediterranean, whatever those are, those, those purple suckers. And then those Vermont and something states and Oriental, whatever that is. You know, the Monopoly board, the properties when you pass go and the ones you can't wait to land on because no one cares. You could just throw your beer cans out, pick up. Pick up a bag of weed and keep it pushing. You know? <laughs> Gotta check it, though. Who knows what's in that bag? I'm some skunk weed. But anyway, guys, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, these people are operating under the idea that things were great. So really, I, I don't know where they come from. You know, I, I don't know what world they live in. Last time I checked, black people were 40% of the homeless. 40% of homeless people are black Americans in a country where we make up 14% of Americans. There is not a black person, I feel, that's truly connected to what's going on in this country that could be upset about Biden losing. Because, I'm sorry, that was Kamala losing. Same difference. I just told you, under Biden, we were 14, we we're 40% of the homeless rate. So, I don't know, you think it might go to 50? Now, that's something to say. That's something to talk about. But if you haven't wrapped your head around the 40 mark, if you haven't wrapped your head around the widening of the racial gap, wealth gap, well, we got more money, but they got more and more money. So the gap did like this. You get like this. It's spread like this. Like this. It's spread. Get it? So if you're not upset about that, if you were quiet about that over the last four years, now you want to act butthurt like all of a sudden you care. To me, it's just symbolic. Symbolically, you think having a Democrat makes you feel comfy. That's because you watch a certain news channel. Do yourself a favor. Stop watching The View. Just wait for me to cover the news clips where I can make money. Wait for me to cover it. I can tell you the highlights. Then I can roast them, and we can be on with our day. You don't have to watch it. Stop watching CNN. I'll watch it for you. I'll do a segment. That should be all the CNN on your diet. Wean yourself off for of MSNBC. Joy V don't mean you no good. I mean, come on. How, how real to the culture could Joanne Reed be? She was supporting a candidate to wash your greens in the tub. Then told you you weren't really black. Unless you supported her. When she herself is gone in or something. I don't understand what's happening. So we had a Ghanaian woman or whatever, Congolese, a God, I don't know what she is. No disrespect to those people. Much respect, brother, sister. But in what world do we have 
a person literally whose parents are from another country, chiding black Americans born in this country for not supporting a woman who was Indian and Asian. That don't seem crazy to you? Maybe I need cue cards and graphics like John Stewart for this to be like edgy enough. But I'm trying to understand what's the what's the logic in this. So these people that are butthurt thinking, oh my God, Trump got in. If they weren't going, oh my God, Biden's in, it means they weren't paying attention to anything. They were just, they just basically are controlled and operated like a push button, like this phone here. You just put this, the, the, the Democrats just hit a button and they go, they move around. It's like a weird game of operation. You just hit the button and they react. Because that means they weren't going on their own experience or they weren't going on any knowledge of what was happening in this country for them to be that way, for them to be happy or not be happy with the current condition or state of the country. And for the record, Biden is still your president. You ain't seen him. That's because he's trying to create World War III on his way out the door. He's a little busy antagonizing other countries that have nuclear weapons at the moment. But he'll be back to you to say bye-bye in a little bit. So, yeah, if you want to be upset, there's a lot of things to be upset about. I'm just wondering well, what was all the anger before this. And I'm not saying things are going to be rosy under Trump and there will be no reason to be concerned. All I'm saying, like, where was the concern all this time Biden was in power. No concern, huh? Quiet. He's still in power, and you're concerned about the future. He had all this time to be concerned. Guess what? I'm not concerned with your crocodile tears, Johnson. 